Hello and welcome back to another unboxing video. I just want to give a big thanks to everybody who does watch these unboxings. I mean, I know it's not ex exceedingly exciting, but it's more like a video log, you know. See what's up with me. As you can see, my room. I've changed some things. I added that little floaty shelf up there. I wish it was clear. I don't understand why this is brand new Logitech 1080p. 922c camera webcam and yet this side of the room is crystal clear as you can see yet that's slightly blurry back there i don't understand that I, those who do watch this and if you can give a help let me know some good cameras that are not wallet breakers that are crystal clear all around i see so many youtube videos out that have it. everything behind them is crystal clear and I was really tempted to put a, a blanket over that window to blur it too because it's so bright back there. But mm, I'll live with it. Uh, but I put the shelf up there and put my little my collection of. It's hard to tell. It's, there's a Jolt. Uh, that's the new Jolt there. That's the previous energy drink size one. And there's a larger one before that. Than the original bottle that they put out and the can next to it. And there's a, a little, uh, let's see if I can put my finger right on a slurm can right there. <laughs> <laughs> I've never drank that one. I got it at the local bookstore called Second and Charles a long time, a good while back. It's just like cool. It's from Futurama. So, anyway, let's get to the video. There's the cover of the booklet. You see, March. The one thing that's bugging me, and I really do hope Tokyo Treat watches these videos because I always share them on their web, their Facebook page, and over on uh, my Twitter profile, and so forth and so on. But I've got a lot of books in back uh, of the uh, back stash because I always keep the books with the streak little earl the uh, qr code that they give you and i've never been we've never been able to use them you only have a, a 12 streak um wavy you once you, you sign this in you get a point in a streak what they call and after 12 points you're at max so and over the course the course <laughs> over the course <laughs> over the course of getting these you get rebates off in the store or in most people it gets to the point where you finally get to 12th and you get a rebate on your box on how much you pay a month but right now boy I don't even know how many I got I got a lot of these codes that I have never been able to scan because they haven't come up with anything new to use them for how about just letting us scan them in so we can use them in the in the store. You know, that's what we need to be able to do with them. Instead of just letting them go to waste. Anyway, there's the two front pages and I'm blocking there the QR code so you can't scan it. <laughs> well, even if you did, it wouldn't matter. It probably goes to my box. Here are the contents, if you can read it. Uh, it's sort of clear. Titles are at least... interior and the coat photo contest and the last page with some odd girl with purple hair <laughs> okay let's get to the treats start with the drink since I've had it out I had to restart my computer twice today due to driver upgrades um, I'm really close to finally getting my new computer built uh, the guy who moved into our old house him and his family we're all friends he is in the military and one of his main occupation is computer uh, repair and building and he lives he just likes doing it so i have all the parts waiting for my memory cards and i'm gonna take everything over to him because he's got my tower already and he can start on it. 
And the only thing left to do with this computer is to take the memory, the 1080 uh, NVIDIA graphics card out and my, sec my secondary hard drive and put them in that one. And then I'll be up to snuff. So I have a 12 core processor. So I'll be able to finally be able to N64 megabytes of memory. So I'll be able to finally get back into Subnautica and some other games. <laughs> Anyway, we have Melon Cream Soda. Mm, there it is. Asha, the most iconic milky Japanese soda. This melon drink has a recognizable fresh flavor that's cut with a sweet, creamy flavor of vanilla ice cream. Okay. Ooh, really does have a nice honeydew type scent. It's funny, when it comes to candy or a drink, I like honeydew. I don't like the taste of it normally, you know, just eating it. But it, well, it's like honeydew ramoon and with a nice fizzy scent. Mmm, that's actually really good. Uh, a little bit of a tart type flavor to it with the ramoon. And a little bit of honeydew mixed together. Hmm. Very good. I can't remember if we've had these before. We, I remember in the past there was a melon cream soda sent to us. Okay. <laughs> Let's get to the interior treats. Oh. Before I do that, get some clips out. <clears throat> We've got a bag here. Okay, we have Calby. Is that 47 years, maybe? I don't know what that is. Belongs to something I'm not seeing here. Mm. Oh, there it is. Calbee Osaka Ginger Tempura Flavor Chips. We're going to Osaka. Red pickled ginger tempura is known as Osaka Soul Food, and you get to enjoy it in a savory, slightly sour potato chip. Hmm. Sour potato chip? Let me get over here, away from the microphone. Okay. Dorda. It, it Dorda. <laughs> it's sort of. <laughs> Dorda? <laughs> what is this? Star Trek Horda and Dorda? It has a plum type scent to it. A, a minor, but the chip. Just your normal kettle. Nice salt hit, but flavor-wise, I don't really taste anything different than normal Lay's potato chip. Huh. It's supposed to be ginger tempura. Red pickled, actually, ginger tempura, but I just don't. I'm not getting that. It just tastes like a normal light potato chip. So, that's a little disappointing. I mean, they're good, but not what I was expecting them to be from the reading that it's over here all right since we're on the chip subject we'll go to pringles which are the misu cup ramen ramen flavor not ramen ramen lovers you're in for a treat pringles collaborated with cup ramen makers ace cup okay 
for a limited time to create Japan's first misu ramen flavored Pringles. This the uh, spice on it is enhanced by plenty of vegetables and spices. All right, it's funny. When I first saw it, I thought it looked like a flying rabbit. <laughs> Boy, tough little lid. I've, I don't, I've never had misu soup, so I don't know what the scent or the taste would be. There is a slight difference scent-wise to these, and I'm not sure how to explain it when I don't know what the original taste is like. Nice salt with the potato. Then there's like a I don't know, like a creamy quality to it. I could say. Um, there's, I guess that's a misu flavor, but it's hard to tell because I don't again. I don't know. So, just leave this open. <laughs> They're good, though, for your Pringles-type chip. I just can't accurately define the sensation, the flavor hit, because all I can say is salt potatoes, minor type of creamy background quality to it, but that's about it. All right, we've got a umabu again with the cool artwork on it, which goes to the tonkatsu sauce flavor. I think we've already had one of these. Probably umabu's most iconic flavor. Well, that makes sense, so we have the sweet and spicy tonkatsu pork cutlet sauce flavor of this crunchy corn snack will have you drooling. What is my help? left it behind me. With these things and some others, you need a towel in your lap. <laughs> and there it is. Just a big Cheeto stick. Has a kind of mayonnaise smell to it. If, or Miracle Whip. Hmm. Nice. Um, you got the corn and salt on the exterior, which is mixed with the flavor. Again, I'm not familiar with tonkatsu, so all I can say is it's it's good flavor. So for that, you know, the, with the mixture of the former, I said, and then that uh, brown spice that they put on it. All right, we've had the several times. They're okay. Oh, I swear we just had these like two or three boxes ago. Different uh, artwork in the front. Which are... Where are you hiding? There they are. The Pokemon Hinumatsura Choco Corn. Even your Pokey Pals are celebrating Girls' Day. Inside this cute Girls' Day inspired packaging, you'll find Choco Corn in the shape of Pikachu. Yeah. Oops, excuse me. Boy, it's a tough package open. You'll remember these. They're little uh, corn shaped snacks. Kind of like um. Some of those choco choco cereals that you can find in the store I mean, very much like that flavor but with a little bit more sugar on them oh. so it's, it, it has that same type of cereal quality you can easily pour that in a bowl with some cereal and it would taste the same of that style now we got a dangashi little treat here Texas corn 
Okonomiyaki. What happens when Texas meets Japan? These awesome corn snacks, that's what. Snack down on these light and crunchy treats with the flavor of rich and sweet Onokoma Okonomiyaki sauce. It's a mouthful of words. Okonomiyaki. They're little cheesy poofs, as you can see. Little guys. Mm. Salt layer on the outside. Not too strong. And you got the corn flavor. But. And up again, I can't tell you if it tastes like the actual product they're talking about or not. I mean, I, to me, it's just a nice salt and corn cheese poof. Wow, I was missing the cheese, but a little poof. So that's good. Ah, one of my favorites. Sadly, I do not have some salad to put it on, but these are always good. I like the artwork on them. Which belongs to the Dandan Yaki sauce flavor. The saucy and sweet goodness of these mini Dandan Yaki crackers is so much that you won't be able to stop munching. They're um, like mochi, dry. Yeah. I mean, you've seen them before. Let you get it open here. Well, I'm just gonna have to do it the old way. Usually I like ripping them so I can seal the package pack, but this one does not want to do it. And they're like little croutons, moochy croutons. Mmm, really good. Mm. <laughs> nice salt hit to them with that ricey crunch, mochi ricey, ricey crunch. Very, very flavorful in your mouth. It's like a mmm. <laughs> now, we have a Daifuku, which this one we've had many times. That's This is the pudding one. <clears throat> Ready for a surprise in your bento? Inside this fluffy marshmallow is a sweet and creamy pudding filling. Back by popular demand. Actually, that should have been the beginning of it. Back by popular demand, and then going on. I wish our marshmallows, uh, the ones that are filled, which you really can't find in the stores all that much. I know my friend who, my coworker, who works at an auction house down in Millen near us, they can get these occasionally, but they're nothing like this. Mm. Really good. Nice pudding flavor in the middle of it. I meant to normally I cut it in half and show you. I forgot about it, but you've seen it many times. You know, you know. <laughs> this little package is taro beans. Do you know about the legend of Mom Momotaro, the Peach Boy? Mm, can't say I do. Give it a read while you're munching on these super delicious and crunchy mini crackers. The package was inspired by the story. Well, of course, you wouldn't bring them up otherwise. <laughs> That's the way you open it. Oh, they're the same as those crackers I just showed you, but in much smaller form, as you can see. Same little rice. Hmm, their flavor is a little bit different. Hmm. Still has that rice, the rice and salt hit. But there's a minor difference between those and this. Maybe it's because, I don't know. It's hard to tell. The f white package, which I showed you this one here, it's got a much, I don't know, more flavorful hit to it. That one, but. This one is still 
flavor as well. Flavorful as well. Blah, 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 blah. Excuse me. My, my tongue's not working. <laughs> uh, but this, there's a minor difference in the, I guess, whatever the flavor they use on them. One has more of a cooked, I guess, flavor to it, or a baked flavor, while the other one is a little stronger on the salt. So I'm, I'm going to save this one. And so it, it alters the taste of it. It's intriguing. It's funny how they're, they're both the same product, but mm, minor differences. Looks like rice crackers. As you can see there. Uh, da, da, da. Yep. Spicy Japanese grain crackers, which I've had many times over the years. We're rounding off our snack bento with something spicy. These Japanese grain crackers are the perfect addition for a crunchy and spicy cake. Yeah, they're really good. I'll occasionally like to buy these from our local oriental store. They're like, um, like folded over, so they sort of look like one of those uh, pizza snacks you can buy from my pizza hut. But they're a nice little, like, I guess you could say like a hard candy in a way, but they're not because they're actually rice with a sugar, a minor, well, it's not sugar. I guess it could be. That shiny layer on the outside has this good spicy kick to it. So it's kind of like a candy, candy corn <laughs> or, you know, candy rice, but natural. And not candy. <laughs> it's like contradicted. And here's another fun one we've had before, but in different packaging. Which is the yakisoba. We're getting more noodle goodness with these crunchy yakisoba inspired snacks. Want to try them in a new way? I mean, add them to hot water. Okay. Well, I mean, that is what they are. They're just a little... Little rice things for uh, dehydrated soup noodles. As you can see right there. Here's a better view. Look like mealworms. <laughs> They're moving. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. I like that. That's like a, a good way to eat the noodles if you don't want to make them into a soup. So, and here's another familiar looking one. Yeah, I remember what they, these are excellent. They're the baby kaki mochi. A treat for both kids and grown ups alike. These salty and fluffy rice crackers, cracker treats, make the perfect addition to any bento box. The inside you have these little wavies. They're really good. They got the like seaweed bits on them. They're very airy. I mean, you could take a little chunk right there. They're gone that quick. Very little left because they're mostly just airy rice. So they just go away in your mouth pretty quick. And another one we've had before. Several times. They were, I mean, they're okay. But they could use a better taste to them. Stronger taste. This is the German potato flavor. The last time we had them, they did not taste like potato. We'll see this time. Pariki are repping. Oh, I see. Repping Germany in these tasty Japanese treats. These pretzel sticks have the flavor of yummy German potatoes for a delicious snack. Well, we'll see. There we go. 
Inside we have these little breadsticks. I don't know it. Just it smells like bread to me. Mm. No. It just they do not taste like potatoes. They come across I mean I'm a potato fan, so I should know. Especially German potatoes. It just has this flavor of bread and salt. I mean, that's it. I wouldn't say that's exciting. It's not. The, the, these have never been a high, great item for the box. So I, I, mean, I wouldn't put those in anymore. Tokyo Tree, if you're watching. Now, one of my favorites, which I need to order a new box when I get a chance from eBay. I love these. Although, I think this might be chocolate. Let's see. Oh, it is. I thought the packaging looked different. This is the Dorayaki chocolate. Pancakes? Chocolate? Yes, please. We're into these reinvented Japanese traditional treats called Dorayaki. Pancake, cakey pancakes that are filled with tasty chocolate or maple syrup. Or... Now, uh, some of the other ones. Uh, it was maple syrup, chocolate, honey. That's the... On the latter, as I said before, there's maple syrup, then honey. Those are the two best. And chocolate's third. There was another one, but I forgot what it was. But these little tasty... Oh, God, these things are so good. Especially when they have the maple syrup in them. Let's see that chocolate layer in the middle. They are literally pancakes. Little mini guys. Mm. Chocolate in that is really nice. Mm. Kind of like a melted Hershey's in a way. Sort of like that. Oh, really? It's whole. We have a melon cookie. The Pandoro cookie. Need more melon goodness in your life? Leave it to us. Your Pandoro cookie is a crunchy sweet snack with a fresh melon flavor. Yeah, these are fantastic. Next to the melon bread. I love these. But this is the first time, I think, in all many years that I've actually had a cookie that's in one piece. I can actually show you the face for a change. It's really cool. And they have this heavenly uh, shortbread scent to them. But well, it's not as strong. They're there's the hint of the melon dew in the background. But normally the that flavor is a little bit stronger than the shortbread that's associated with the cookie. So that's surprising. If you get the melon breads, which are little, little breads about this big, and they look like ones you pull right, right out of the oven with the crisscross pattern on top, uh, those are just heavenly in the melon, the melon flavor, the honeydew. And last but not least, another one we've had before. <laughs> uh, this is the Hinamatsura peach flavor. Wait, have we had peach? We might have. We're celebrating Girls' Day, which is 3-3, March 3rd, with light and crunchy caramel corn. Inside the cool packaging, you'll find a pink and white snacks made with 100% Japan grown peaches? Really? Okay. I don't remember these now. There we go. Mmm. <sighs> That's a very slightly faint, but like sugary lemon, sugar, sugary peach scent to them. And there's your little shrimp looking things. 
that was a white one. Then we have a pink one. Taste wise, again, these things are so air. He's like, one, two, three, four. It's gone. <laughs> but the the taste from what you get, it's almost like cotton candy. It melts so fast in your mouth. There's like a, all I can say it's like candy peach type flavor to it. They're made from real peaches, but the, the flavor itself is not as strong as you would expect. It should be amped up more. But you get the, the hint of that with the sugar that's mixed into it, which is not overpowering. Uh, these are always good. But it's, it could be way stronger. And that would have brought the expectation of, ooh, peach, much higher. So that's all for this box. But I wanted to show you these. I, can't, I think I might have done so in one of my two last videos. But they're called Crispy Salmon Skins Good Fish Sea Salt Edition. They're made by... Well, they're distributed by Good Fish out of New York City. And come from Salmon in Bristol Bay in Alaska. But the, these are superb. I'll show you what they look like. <clears throat> I get them at my local fresh market if you have one in your area. Strong, really strong fish scent from because they are salmon skin. That's what it looks like. The skin of a salmon turned into a chip. Very tasty. You don't get a lot though, because it's mostly air. It's about half and half of the bang. But for what you do get, is excellent. Ah, oh, carnivores! <laughs> That's all for now. And, ooh, I almost forgot. Jeez. I was about to uh, close out the video, and I totally forgot my bag sitting right here. Which are these peach parfait. Ooh. Someone managed to get a whole pa uh, peach parfait into a Kit Kat. The creamy peach flavored center is sandwiched between crispy wafers, and it's wrapped in peach flavored white chocolate. Dang. There's the back side. You can make an origami swan, I think that is. Yeah, out of this bag. If you take the time. And usually they, uh. No, I guess not. What you have to do is totally open it up from both ends, flatten it out so you can make it into something. There's the packaging. A smaller version of the big one. Mm. Hmm. There they are, little guys. It's slightly peachy in scent. Hmm. A little high on the sugar. Not too much. It's not as balanced as some of the others, like the apple pie. <laughs> but it's almost like, again, it's a flavor I have never had. I've never desired to have a peach parfait, but I actually want one now. <laughs> uh, because I love peach in all forms, so why not try it? This has a like strawberry. What is it? Uh, so it's like almost like a peach shortcake. It's smooth, 
with a slightly higher sugar level, not too, not overpowering or off-putting, with the crackers in the middle, and then you get that, like, milky peach flavor to it. It's quite good. It's really good. I like that. So I'll probably, I will eat that whole bag. <laughs> Eventually. I haven't even finished off my last one. So, okay, now that's the end of the video. So, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and thanks for sh sharing, subscribing, whatever you want to do with the video. <laughs> Hopefully, enjoying it. Bye for now.